for this very moment. So let him know you appreciate him flying halfway around the world. Everybody here, would you pick it up for the one and only Lizard Man? But as you can see, I'm a little tied up at the moment. And I'll explain why in just a few seconds. But first of all, just in case anybody here is wondering why I'm called the Lizard Man, let me tell you a little bit about what I've done to myself, ladies and gentlemen. Now you're looking right now at my green face, and you can see some of the green of my legs. I've actually spent more than 700 hours getting my entire body tattooed with green reptilian scales and black markings. And if you look over my eyes, you'll see that I've also had implants pieces of Teflon grafted to my skull to create horn ridges. And while I've been talking, some of you might have already noticed my teeth because they have been filed down into sharp points. But ladies and gentlemen, the real reason that I'm known as the Lizard Man, well, that's my tongue. Or I should say my tongue, because I do have two. That's right, my tongue has been split in half, forked like that of a lizard or a snake. Watch what it can do. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just here to show you what I've done to my body. I'm here today to show you something that I can do with my body. And for that is why I'm in this straight jacket, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to teach you guys all today how to escape from a straitjacket. Because you see, here at the Psycho Sideshow, after the shows, we always have people coming up to us and saying, how do you do that? I want to learn how to do that. But most of the things we do, well, they're far too dangerous for us to teach you guys. But the straitjacket escape is something I think everybody should learn how to do. Because you know, later on in life, it might be a useful skill. Yeah, I'm looking at some of you right now, and I can see that maybe even later on tonight it might be a useful skill for some of you. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do Harry Houdini's classic straight jacket escape. Because he's the man that made it famous, ladies and gentlemen. He performed this act all over the world, did it in all kinds of different ways. He would do it hanging off the sides of buildings, hanging off of bridges. In fact, one time, right here in Australia, almost a century ago, he performed this escape hanging upside down under an airplane in flight. And that is really dangerous. And also the reason I just do it standing here on stage, because frankly, I'm no Harry Houdini. But I can get out of the straight jacket, and right now I'm going to show you how. It's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is follow a couple of easy steps. The first step is to take your arms that are crossed in front of you and to uncross them. Now to do that, you're going to take your lower arm and throw it across your body as hard as you can, like so. Now with your arms uncrossed, you've got to work them up your body until you get your outside hand over your shoulder. If you watch closely, you'll notice it looks kind of like a washing machine. Now with your hand right here, you can push your elbow out just enough to give you a little bit of space between your arm and your chest. You're gonna take your head and push it right through there. Now watch this one, this is fun. It's kinda like being born again. <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> and a green one at that. <laughs> Now, folks, if you get this far in the straight jacket escape, you're basically already there. You could just put your hands down to the side. Because, you see, it's only in Hollywood that they say you need to dislocate your shoulder to get out of a straight jacket. But that's not true. Because Harry Houdini, he never dislocated his shoulder getting out of a straight jacket. But as I told you before, I'm no Harry Houdini. And now I realize how smart Harry Houdini was for never doing this. See? 
And with your arms up twisted and in front of you, there's only one last step. Pull it off over your head like a cheap Christmas sweater. Oh, there's a little bit. 